Hello, guys. Oh god, my mouse sensitivity was re really, really high. Um, Alright, I got mimicry and we have the tapes. Morning, Agent. Dr. Parison asked me to tell you to meet him in the morgue. He's done with the remains from the recycling center. Alright, thanks. I'll go have a look before I pay Epos a visit. Okay. All right, so we still have the same items as yesterday. Uh, let's talk to Gabriel. Hello again, Gabriel. Hey there. Let's ask about Epos. What do you know about the Free Church of Epos? Epos. We have a few members in the family, but I've never been there myself. Always felt uncomfortable in churches. Okay. All right. Good luck out there. Uh, I'm gonna ask Anderson. I wonder, is he a member of EPOS? I had a few questions. By all means. What do you know about the Free Church of EPOS? Well, I'm no member myself, but my father was an EPOS man. Oh, really? What made you pick a different path? I suppose I never had much faith in a higher power. I believe in humanity. That's enough for me. What's your impression of the church, then? Positive, overall. From my point of view, they've always been a friendly group of people. Law-abiding and ready to lend a hand when the town needed it. You must admit, the embassy status is quite suspicious, though. Agreed. I opposed it at every turn. We should all be equal before the law. But in the end, it was a political matter out of my hands. All right. That's all I need. Very well. So they are like... Not really EPOS material, and I actually believe what they're saying. Alright, let's go to the town square. Oh, Jesus. Wait. I want to check. I don't need to mimic him. Oh, damn. Can we mimic this guy? I don't need to. All right, because you know they said that. Oh, you know we have family, blah blah blah. So maybe I could have used that for my advantage. Oh, hello. Who are you? He looks sick. I shouldn't bother him. I don't need to. Well, Leonard, it's been quite gross working with you. Hello again. I've got a present for you, Agent. Is that so? Yep, right here on this tray. <laughs> All right. I'm a fan of minced meat. I've got a bucket full of Leonard out back, too. I think I'll pass on that one. Good choice. The seasoning is subpar, to say the least. You take your jokes way too far, Doctor. Now, what have you found? Ah, uh, come on. Obviously, the poor man. I think you need a good sense him. of humor. You need a yeah, a, I a dark sense of humor, I guess. Can you tell me anything because, about or the is that morbid humor? Whatever. I think it's called dark state. humor. If you no work in this type of environment, seeing this type of shit. A lot of options open. Noted. So what's this in front of me? Oh, yes. I noticed a pattern. I think it's also Leonard's like one of the reasons why so like many surgeons are like psychopaths, are right? All the pieces I could find. I'm not sure how they fit together, but I kept them in case you wanted to have a look. Because I believe right. like you I'll need to have out. like that type of mindset to be able to do the job. And I talked and I completely forgot what he I said. I had some more things to add. Shoot. What's your opinion on the Free Church of Epos? I try to steer clear of those people. Any form of superstition, religious or otherwise, is of no interest to me. Yep, I'm with you. I'm with you. 
and the conduit. Are you familiar with the old terrorist organ? Well, have you ever heard about? I'm sure the ideology still thrives in places. Right, but you're not aware. If you're asking me, would I report a terrorist? But okay. All right. Um, let's ask about Leonard. What do you know about Leonard Dahl? Polite and well-spoken fellow, judging by the few times I met with him. All right. What did you meet with him about? Well, typically just routine work when someone hurt themselves in the recycling center. Seems like a hazardous workplace. I hear about accidents occurring there almost on a weekly basis. All right. That's enough question. Okie dokie. Let's look at the skin pieces. Oh, it's a puzzle. I got it. I got it. Um, let's first separate them all from each other. Okay. Um. All right. Well, this looks like it's the center of something. And. Nope. So let's start with this piece. Does this fit right here? Yes, okay. And then... No, that doesn't work there. Okay. That's good. Um... Alright. Alright, so it's actually a decently easy puzzle right here. I don't know how perfect you need to be. But probably right here, I think. Oh, it snaps to place, alright. That's why. I was like, damn, I've been very, very perfect, like but now it snaps the place. Tattoo. I'll copy it to my notebook. Alright. Yeah, let's ask him. So this is how Leonard's tattoo turned out. Interesting. What does it mean? Your guess is as good as mine. Looks like one of those runes Maya liked to litter the town with. Oh. oh, wait, that's her doing? Yes. As I understand it, she was a major voice on the building committee. Huh. I've been wondering where all those symbols came from. Okay. Yeah. Me, personally, I like the aesthetic. I think it gives the town a distinct look. Definitely. The tattoo doesn't look runic to me, though. But I'll keep your theory in mind. All right, um... I don't need to show him. Do we have anything else to show him? I finally got my hands on the murder weapon. Ah, uh, yes, it definitely looks the part. Where'd you find it? At the scene of Leonard's murder. Any prints or traceable remains on it? I'm afraid not. Well, at least it ties him to Carl and Maya. Either they're all victims of the same murderer, or he killed them himself. Yeah, always something. Yeah, I believe Leonard killed those two. I think there might be something along the lines of it's two like terrorist organizations fighting each other. Yeah, either that or like I said, uh, should I give him the scalpel? I shouldn't show him that. He might want it back. Oh okay. So it's something. I'll wash my hands when I go to bed. Uh, something to use. Can we talk to the patient? No use. Um, let's go to the patient room. Is there a patient in here? Nope. A portable medical. All right, let's see the blue box. Is there something in there? It's filled with cannulas. 
those little I don't think I need all right but got something I have to remember feeling ill today see if you can get treatment for something ordinary the doctor gets I'm well thanks but I'll do oh, okay that action does okay I mean I think I saw this in uh, oh hello there's new people here hey there how are you holding up oh you again I'm doing okay any luck with the case some have time for more questions I suppose all right let's get the biometric analyzer up and let's ask about the uh, wait, first let's ask about the tattoo. Can you tell me anything about this symbol? Whoa, Leonard had that thing tattooed on his chest. Yeah? Any idea of what it means? Not exactly, but when I asked him about it, he just said, it represents my devotion. Whatever that means. Hmm. Noted. Okay. So, I mean, I think we can say pretty clearly right here that Leonard was... What's your opinion a on member of EPOS? I don't know much about it, but going to church doesn't sound like the worst idea. Maybe I should go and light a candle for Leonard. Um, should we even ask about the conduit? But let's do it. What do you know about the conduit? Uh, you mean like for electricity? No, it's an organization. Pro AI. Oh, never heard of them. Oh, it doesn't seem like he's lying. Um. Let's ask about Leonard. So, tell me. We already went through this. Oh, okay. Anything about Maya? Did you know? I didn't, but I wonder how the museum. She was the driving spirit of that place, and I can't. Okay, well. I'll let you get back to your. Okay. I don't think there's anything more from you. Hi there. Hello, stranger. Oh, hello. Newcomer, right? What brings you to town? Is it that obvious? I'm here for matters of the faith, you could say. I understand. Well, best of luck with that. Hmm. Oh god, did I fuck up now? Because didn't they say... Oh wait, can I get her... Let's see. I don't need to mimic... Can we mimic this guy? I don't need to. No, I cannot. Oh wait, they're different, aren't they? That combination makes Old Norse runes. A local. Okay. So it actually wasn't that thing. Um... I guess what we need to do now is just find that symbol looks like an old I mean let's first go up into her house um yeah I don't see the symbol there go to the museum Hmm. No. All right, town square. Uh, let's see where else. Let's go to the shopping district. Oh wait, wait. Let's show that to Gabriel actually. I think we should inform Gabriel, like, show him the tattoo. Recognize the symbol? Nope, never seen that before. Oh, damn. And I don't want to waste time asking dad, even though if, I mean, maybe the dad would know since 
yes, like his his father was religious. He wasn't, so maybe. Makes sense that Gabriel. Oh wait, is Gabriel? No, Gabriel is not. And uh, the son of Anderson, he's the grandson. So it's actually uh, a quite a decent amount of generational gap I don't between have those. Any business in between those guys, actually. Um, hmm. Let's go to the jump keep and ask uh, the girl. There, there's no. We go to the junk keep. Oh, the scavenger. Hello. He looks busy sifting through the junk. I'll leave him be. Oh, come on. I don't. A big old. Com so I wonder if that, what I did there was right. Because I wonder, will that scavenger know the, the hidden path now? Oh, sure. You don't need to worry. I replaced the canister yesterday. Oh, all right. Fine. Tell her. You have no idea how much that means to me. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. That was good informing her of that. Uh, but show, let's show her the tattoo. What do you make of this symbol? Just looks like a stick figure to me. Ah, damn. Okay. So, I found this tape in the museum. Let me guess, some conduit ravings of Maya's? Something like that, yeah. I wouldn't try to make sense of it. She was quite unhinged. I don't know, I think we should try. So, I found- Let me guess, something- I wouldn't- Okay. Nothing special. Can we give her back the frame I photo? Borrowed this oh, good. Don't bother. Oh, okay. Um. All right. Okay. All right. Um. Oh wait, the artist. Oh god, the guy who was drawing everything. Uh, yeah, the flower. Oh, he made them into flowers now. Alright. So he actually expanded it into flowers. Looks like I was right about the flowers. Yeah. Well, at least we... Um... Oh god. We... Um... Gave him the last bit of inspiration to turn it into flowers. Let's go to the mall. Oh, a young man right here. But I'm gonna take a pause right here since I need to go to the bathroom. So I'll be back. Okay, and um, let's see. Um, oh yeah, young man. Change of venue. Yes, this is where the recital will take place later. Great acoustics. Ah, can I have a little foretaste? Very well. <clears throat> the same wind, my dear. The same wind. Shook the walls of Jericho. Dried your tears. No lee to be found. No trust, nor joy. This fire you were set to guard, and I to rest by its side. Your weapon rusty and old. An ounce of solace to seek while you grow old and weak. That was great. I love the ending. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. I like it. I don't want to disturb him. So I think this is the the poet that we saw near Walter's workshop a couple days ago. Uh, let's see. Can we Maybe go? later. I don't feel an Okay. Yeah. Not sure what happened here, but it looks like old dammit. Alright, can we go up the stairs? Alright, we can. Ah. So, yeah, yeah, is this the church, I guess? Oh, a bird. So this is an E, I wonder. I'd guess those are members of the church. I don't recognize any of them. 
I don't think anything about Uh, let's talk to the guard before we go. Hi there. Greetings, and welcome to the Free Church of Epo. Oh, I recognize you. You can enter our public prayer room to the right for some silent. So you were a guard. All right, thanks. What about the rest of the church? The other areas are off limits to non-members. Oh, can I become a member then? Now is not a good time. We're preparing for a special guest who has come a long way. If you return next week, we'll see what we can do. I understand. Thanks. All right, I'm assuming they... I wonder if this special guest can help somehow. All right, I'm assuming it's the woman that I saw in the... Looks like some kind of public prayer room or chapel. Looks like... Okay, um... Hey! Oh, sorry. Okay. Wait, can I? Oh, but. Can I collect his signature? But it wouldn't. Have, that would be so weird. I suppose I could, but it wouldn't have. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that would be very weird, wouldn't it? Okay. A fancy looking E. It's the. Alright. Uh, I don't think it's worth showing him the tattoo, actually. Because we want to be a little bit conspicuous, I guess. Can we get the young man? I don't need to make. I uh, know. Nope. Doesn't look fun. Okay, so I wonder now what we want to do is. Go to, um... Oh god, the bar, I guess. Oh, hello. Rolf. More runes. Rolf looks busy. I'll leave him to his work. Well, let's check on the baby. and Katarina's unborn child. According to Katarina... Okay. Well, everything seems to be fine right there. Um, alright. To the town square. To the cantina. And then... Her sleeve has the Epo symbol. Maybe this is the special guest headed for Epos. So, have you heard about the storm? I have, yes. It's the talk of the town. I'm glad I made it before it hit. All oh, right. yeah, that must be quite a relief. All right. I don't see what I have to gain by disguising myself. Oh, I thought maybe if we... Maybe we should disguise ourselves before we, uh, we go into the church. Maybe here. I don't see what I... Okay. Nope. I don't see what I... So I guess I have to do it right here. I need to get out of sight. Oh, okay. There we go. Looks like some kind of public... Let's go in. Because I'm here. He wrecked... Oh, God. Uh, framed quotes. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. 
Exodus. Suppose it wouldn't be a church without a Bible quote or two. Yeah. Sturdy looking. Oh, oh. hello, Reverend. Sorry about the noise. The assembly hall is to your right, past the locker room. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, let's look it looks at the... like a timeline of how the ethos Oh, I can see. I see it. The third logo. Yeah. The third version of the Epos logo, designed about 15 years ago. The original Epos logo from before the collapse. Before the collapse, and this was probably the post. The second version of the Epos logo from some time after the collapse. Oh, some time after. The current version of the Epos logo. All right. Um, oh, do I have to drag this? No way. It's the tattoo design. That must mean Leonard is a member of Epos. Or, well, he was, at some point at least. So I guess he was a member... Uh... I'll get rid of the sketch, now that I've identified the symbol. Okay. Um, so what we do know is that I guess he was a... Not a very new member. Uh, well, oh, a ventilation panel. A ventilation panel. Can't reach it from here. A ventilation... Hmm. Wait. An armed guard. There's likely more. That door must lead deeper into the complex. I'll have to try to find... Okay, um... Could I do some niche on him? Let's go in here first. Oh, is Leonard's key for something here? It says LD on this box right here. Yeah. It's locked. Well, obviously, let's use the key. Got a written piece of paper. All right, good. You closed it after. That's good. Grandmaster Otto, if you are reading this, it means that I have failed. I'm sorry. But I didn't want to involve the church unless absolutely necessary. My brother has some things for you. They will be self-explanatory. I told him to only give them up to the person who repeats the famous quote from my favorite book. I'm sure you remember. Blessings from Leonard, your most humble and loyal servant. Seems Damn. like Leonard was up to something shady. I'll have to find his brother and figure out what the quote is. All right. So I guess now I should go back uh, to and sit and look at the books. Maybe now when I look at books, I might get something from that. Yeah, because this is the Conduit book. I've already done that. It's filling up fast and should overflow soon. Okay, why would we do that? Oh, Some kind of assembly hall with plenty of. Have uh, to get to the. Oh god, the guard, out. All right, let's see if this works. Should keep them busy. All right, now room or door. Some kind of metal workshop with a few men. The room is a dead end. Okay. Locked. Damn. Um. That action doesn't. I don't want to shoot that. Uh, I thought maybe if we... Okay, now. I don't want to... That combination... Um... Oh, um... Muscle boost. Uh, still won't budge. I'll have to find another way. Ah, uh, push the filing cabinet, maybe? Ugh, it's... <clears throat> the hell is that noise? Shit! We've got an intruder! Hmm. So wait. No. All right, it's loose now. Uh. 
Okay, so you have to wait for the noise. Thing one more. Okay. Actually, we're doing pretty good so far. Six new members over the last month. The Bacarbo Parish is also doing better now. They managed to resolve their financial difficulties? Oh yes, Elsa is doing great work there. Sending her on our behalf was the right call. That brings us to the subject of these horrid murders. Vile acts for certain. I pray that the church will stay clear of any blame. Why shouldn't it? We had nothing to do with those atrocities. I know that, old friend. But surely our enemies will not ignore an opportunity like this. Oh, I suppose so. Our violent past coming back to haunt us. Sadly, the fact huh. that one of our people was victimized will inevitably draw eyes upon the church. Yes, maybe it's in our best interest to invite the police as a gesture of good faith. It would certainly show them that we have nothing to hide. Very well. Let's bring the subject to a vote at the council tonight. Hmm. At the very least, it seems like the church leadership didn't sanction the murders. I'll wait a bit and see if they leave. All right. Okay, let's see. Administrative paperwork. Do we really want to? Yeah, let's activate this. Admin. Because wow. of me. Wow, that's a lot of books. Wow. Uh, let's leave. At least if we have this. Come visitor. Oh hello. Oh. Uh... You can drop the smoke and mirrors routine, Miss. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. While you may fool my younger cohorts, this oh, is the right. had dealings with your kind before. Please do me the courtesy of removing that mask. Thank you. Much better circumstances for a civil conversation, wouldn't you say? I guess so. I was half expecting you to yell for the guards. Luckily, I am a man who defies expectations. Special Agent Violent Crimes Central Bureau. Oh, it's you again. The man from the train. It All is. right. I never forget a face, but I'm afraid I didn't catch your name. It's Agent England. Ah, I am Vilgut. I assume you are aware of our legal status. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not here to cause any trouble. Just trying to do my job. Why would you cause trouble? That sounds quite unnecessary. Well, if, let's say, you were sheltering a murderer, I would have no choice. Good thing there are no murderers here, then, for all parties involved. Yeah, I overheard what you said to that priest. It's clear to me that you had nothing to do with the killings. That's a relief. With that unpleasantry taken care of, hmm. perhaps I can be of assistance. I do wonder, maybe they knew that I was there? Maybe. Uh, let's ask about Leonard's murder. Let's ask about the church first. This church, Epos. What are your first? At our core, we are an Orthodox Christian church. Oh, all right. We believe in the one true God and His only Son, Jesus Christ. So, okay. What sets your group apart from other Christians? Two things. So they're Whatever actually Christians, humanity, specifically Orthodox Christians, opposition to false idols, or a, a subsection class, of Orthodox Christianity. I thought it was something completely different. I did not think. All right. Widespread worship of anything and everything but God, wealth, fame, mindless pleasure, the sickening mutilation of our bodies to the point where some were more machine than human. And the worst of all, oh, that the of all like transhuman intelligences, false gods that humans aspired to construct for themselves, 
we oppose it all for the glory of our creator and the salvation in our future. And how do you go about preventing people from worshipping these false gods? Kill them. Not by violence, if that's what you're implying. Such things belong to the past. So it's just a coincidence that the only armed man I've seen in Nordson was right behind your doors? Sadly, the world is still in a state where men with guns are unnecessary evil. However, no laws have been broken. We have every right to bear arms. Yeah, I think that's fine. Security guards. It's okay. Um, let's ask about book quotes. So you had a member called Leonard Dahl. We did, yes. Do you happen to know what kind of books he liked to read? Hmm. Uh, one book he borrowed frequently was The Kingdom of God is Within You. In fact, it still hasn't been returned. It should be among his estate. Would you be able to say if he had any favorite quotes from that book? No, you should ask someone who spent more time with him. Fine, I'll do that. What kind of book is it anyway? It's about non-violence, to summarize. All right. Thanks. Um, let's ask about the conduit. Fuck it. What's your take on the conduit? Oh, those heretics? Haven't heard anything of them in many years. As far as I know, they are firmly confined to the ash heap of history by now. Some might argue with that. Your church has a violent past with them, hasn't it? There's no denying that. We fought many battles with their kind in the youth of our movement. <clears throat> and now? Don't be absurd. They are practically eradicated. And we have been a peaceful group for decades. What do you think about their teachings, then? Certainly dangerous doctrines if left unchecked. The conduit believes humans will create God in their image, instead of the other way around. In their folly, they forget that humans are flawed, and that their creations will inevitably inherit those flaws. The false God they aspire to create may demand sacrifices they're not prepared for. Alright, um, let's ask about his brother. Do you know who Leonard Dahl's brother is? I believe his name is Rolf. Quite a shady character, if you ask me. Oh, the guardian, right? Yes, that's he. Okay. Um, I mean, we asked... Let's ask about him, so just... Saul, can you think of anyone who would want... No. He was a loyal member of the church for many years. Kind of a loner, but always helpful and polite. He did have a strangeness to him, though. A look in his eyes like he was stuck in perpetual contemplation. All right. It seemed as if he was constantly on the verge of... But never quite able to reach some sort of profound revelation. Hmm. Any hint of a violent side to him? No. To my knowledge, Leonard never committed any violence, nor did he express any desire to do so. Um, let's see. What do you think about Maya? What's your opinion on Maya Strand? She was my polar opposite in almost every way. But I enjoyed the occasional late-night chess game with her in the canteen. It's fascinating how trivial activities like board games can bring such different people together. Go mm, that's to true. I, I agree with that. As anyone when I learned of what happened to her. What's your opinion on Stina Ruth? Cunning woman, that one. And she's been a thorn in our side ever since she joined the town council. Yeah? She has a penchant for political obstruction. Things like hindering our building permits or imposing unreasonable restrictions on our street preaching. Hmm. Why do you think she's been acting that way? If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say she has some kind of grudge. Some Christian out there must have greatly angered her at some point. Hmm. Or oh, she's just anti-religion. And, uh... I don't know if I want to bring her up. Let's ask about... Uh, you know what, let's ask about Rolf. What can you tell me about Rolf? Not my favorite person. He mocked the Lord when I first met him, but I don't take kindly to that sort of behavior. Alright. 
I mean, I should have had the biometric thing out. Actually, what's your? She was fascinating. Goes without saying. All right, nothing. Uh, let's ask about. Ooh, uh. Let's ask about Gabriel. What do you think of Gabriel? Kurt's nephew. Well, we only met briefly a few times. What do you know about Carl <coughs> Oskerson? I must confess I didn't even know his name before I heard he was a murder victim. What do you think of Commissary Anderson? He's no member of the church, but he's a fine man blessed with strong Christian morals. I was good friends with his late father, and I'm glad to see him. All right, and Walter. What do you think of Walter? I don't know him well, but he seems like the kind of... Wait, what? What do you think? I don't know him well, but he's... Hide a deep wound, yeah. I think so, too. What do you know about... Only what my fellow church members have told me. That's all, for now. Understood. I'll eat. I don't see what I have to gain by disguising myself. Well, I mean... What is the Vilgot? Oh, it's his name. Uh, I think it's a like Vilgot right here, so it's kind of like... I don't think it's safe to go... Yeah, probably not. Oh, the passage led back here. Good. Since I left the door unlocked behind me, I'll be able to come back the same way. Okay. Um. <clears throat> oh, and the recycling center is right here, so... Uh, let's go and check out the books. There it is, the book from the library. Got it. All right. Grandmaster Otto, I'm sorry, but I didn't want to involve the church unless absolutely necessary. My brother, I told him to only give them up to the person who repeats the famous quote from my favorite book. I'm sure you remember. Blessings from Leonard. Favorite the Kingdom quotes. of God is Within You by Leo Tolstoy. This looks ancient, pre-collapse for sure. A number of pages are marked in the margins, likely to easily find them. <coughs> Even if one of the marked pages contains the quote I need, there's too much text. I'll need more to go on. Maybe someone who had regular contact with Leonard would know the quote if they saw it. The a number of even me. Yeah. And we're not gonna go to his brother because I mean I need uh, his brother. Uh, so let's not talk to the brother. Let's go to this guy and show him the book. Hey, I got something to show you. Okay. Have a look at these marked pages. Does anything remind you of things Leonard used to say? Hmm. Give me a minute, will you? Sure. You'll get a couple seconds. Here. The sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. <laughs> Leonard used to say that whenever I was late for work. Perfect. All right. Thanks. No problem. And I guess we could uh, return the book now. Um, to uh, Hello, feel good. Hey, look, I'm pretty busy here. Not really a good time to talk. This can't wait. You heard about your brother, right? It's a small town, what do you think? Sorry about your loss, but I really need to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Uh, uh, first ask about, wait. Uh, you know what, this, let's ask about his murder. I'm sorry, Rolf. I know, and I wish I had something to give you. 
So you have no idea. It's got to be the nut job who killed those other people, right? It's possible, but far from certain. When was the last time you talked to your brother? A week and a half ago or so. Okay. How did he seem? What did you two discuss? He was his usual self, but what we <coughs> talked about is private. Look, every little detail matters. What he said could be the key to finding his killer. I'm not gonna betray his trust. If you want to arrest. All right. Well, let's say the sole meaning of life. The sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. I don't believe this. You have something for me, Rolf? I guess so. You know, you're the last person I was expecting. Was my brother a police informant? Uh, yeah. We were building a case, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. Shit. That's crazy. <laughs> Wait here, I'll be right back. Here, now go bury the bastard that killed my brother. I'll do my very best. All right. Got rid of the note. No need to hold on to that. I got what I needed. All right, uh, let's actually go over here and open it up Let's oh there was God. an audio tape and a few documents inside these look like surveillance reports it seems that Leonard was investigating Carl Katarina and Maya hmm. the museum the junk heap and the apartment at Lemire Road are all mentioned as locations of interest Leonard must have followed them around town and documented their activities there's not much new to me in here but there's mention of multiple tape recordings maybe they can offer some other clue to the killer I need to figure out some way to play that tape. All right. Well, that will be easy. Uh, let's go to where Maya lived. Oh wait, what was it in the museum? Yes, it was in the museum. Sorry, hidden room. The same place we played. The other tapes. This tape is in pretty bad shape, but I might be able to do something with this machine here. All right, looks oh. like the machine has analyzed the tape. Maybe I can reduce some or all of this noise. Okay, um, how does this work? To work with sections of the tape. Oh, all right, let's see. I shouldn't do that before I filtered out all the noise. Let's see, can we? All right. And then... I shouldn't do that before I filtered out all the noise. So I guess, did I do the right thing there? And now I want to filter out all this, right? Yeah, because this is just... Alright. Let's try it again. I shouldn't do that. Right. Stop. This is clanking, right? Yeah, let's get rid of the clanking. Alright. Then right here, what is this? Okay. So all of that is just thunder. Filter that. Alright. To be done with all of this and just oops. I can't shake the feeling that someone is onto us. 
We've been careful. You're imagining things, Carl. <sighs> Maybe. I can't what? wait to be done with all of this and just go be a family. Me either, my love. Me either. Did you get the package? Yes. Had a look inside. CPUs, neural cores, major third degree violations. I don't like it any more than you do, but it will keep Maya off our backs for a while. Fuck, Cap. Mel, it's too hot. Terrorist classified hot. By definition, we are terrorists now. All right, come don't on. Don't be dramatic. We'll keep our heads down, let Maya have her fun, then eject from this whole mess. <sighs> Things used to be so simple around here. Okay. Interesting. If only I knew where it was recorded. Oh god, can we get that back? The kingdom of God is within a number of These look like surveillance reports. The museum, the junk heap, and the apartment at Mamir Road are all mentioned as locations of interest. Leonard must have followed them around town and documented their activities. There's not much new to me in here, but there's mention of multiple tape. Oh god, what happened to the tape recorder? Can't I get it back? I guess not. I can't shake the feeling that someone is. Guess, yeah, I don't think you can press. Oh, okay, I think. I mean, we could always ask her, uh, An Melinda, or her. appears to be a wireless. All right. A wall. Okay. Let's see. Looks like an old. I don't. Um, where we want to go now is actually, you know, let's go to the clinic and see. Oh no, doesn't seem to be anything new here. Um, I'm gonna go here first. We're gonna go on to the Epos library, and I think we're gonna give him the book back. Here's your book back. I got what I needed from it. Ah, thank you. I have a few more. I'm listening. All right, let's see. That's all for now. Understood. Yeah. These look like surveillance for the mu There's. Oh god, I don't want to show him the documents, so we're not gonna do that. Um, let's see. To the junk heap. And let's talk to her. Kasif. He looks busy. Sure. Let's talk. I need to pick your brain about a few more things. Okay. What's up? Um. Uh, the problem is that I. D That's evidence. Yeah, I don't have those things anymore. I found out that Leonard Dahl was a member of Epos. Really? Yes, really. Anything to say about that? Good riddance, I guess. He posts are a bunch of assholes. That so? Happen to hate them enough to shred one of them to bits? No. Whoever did that is a sick person. Let's get that off. I found out that Leonard. Really? Yes. Good riddance, I guess. That's a no. 
No, nothing from you. Let's ask about Rolf. Do you know Rolf, the gardener? I know his name and occupation, but that's about it. <laughs> Alright, so basically all the information she knows, she just got it from me. Um... What can you tell me about yourself? Other than this mess with my eye got tangled up and I'm just a teacher trying to get by. I moved here a few years back. Okay, nope, nothing. No reason to show. I don't want. No, that. Do you know? S I know who she is. What do you think? I don't know much about him. I never. What about your fertility problems? You didn't consider seeing the doctor oh. or resorting to Maya's help? I wish that was an option, but my condition was thoroughly diagnosed before I moved here. It's chronic. And yeah, no, might as well. No, but he seems to be the kind of leader who only uses the carrot, never the stick. Alright. Alright? Good. A long distance. Alright. I'm good. Okay. So I did not really get what I wanted from this. To North Town. Uh, do I want to go to the mall? Me. A again? No. Okay, nothing there. The museum, the junk heap, and the apartment at Mimir Road. There's not much new to. Yeah, I mean. Odd looking thing. Yeah, I don't think. It's alright. Oh, fuck. Is there something I'm missing, I guess, from the tape recording? Because, I mean, you would think that it would be either of those three things when she asks. Oh, I wonder where that's from. It's kind of like it has. It's probably one of those three, right? Uh, either the not the museum. Yeah. I mean, to me, that sounds like a the junkie. Please look like the museum. There's no. Oh, sorry. Like if we're listening. I can't shake the feeling that someone is onto us. We've been careful. You're imagining things, Carl. Maybe. Oh no! Shines. Wind chime. Maybe. I can't wait to be done with all of this and just go be a family. Me either, my love. Me either. Did you get the package? Yes. Had a look inside. CPUs, neural cores, major third degree violations. I don't like it any more than you do, but it will keep Maya off our backs for a while. All right. Fuck, Cap Mel. It's too hot. Terrorist classified hot. By definition, we are terrorists now. Don't be dramatic. We'll keep our heads down, let Maya have her fun, then eject from this whole mess. <sighs> Things used to be so simple around here. I can't shake the feeling that someone is on Wait, let me see. We've been careful. You're imagining things, Carl. Right there. Once should be enough. Oh, okay. Oh well, I think I'm pretty sure I know where it is. The wind chime. Yeah. 
And you know what? It's been an hour. So I'm actually gonna end this episode right here. I'm gonna go eat a little bit. And then I'll actually come back and we'll continue. Thank you for watching.